Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Dragon Ball Nation. Now today I'm going to be doing another Dragon Ball Z discussion on was Gohan Super Saiyan 1 or Super Saiyan 2 during his fight with Dabora. Now this is something that's been in the community for quite some time now being debated here and there and there has never really been a direct answer. It's very hard to find a direct answer, but I'm going to throw my hat in the ring here and try my best to answer it, I suppose. So for starters, you know, we know that uh, Dabora... Uh, has been compared to Cell, and I'm going to be taking cues from the, both the anime and the manga here, because in the manga, the fight with Debora is so short that it's very difficult to even judge what was going on because it's such a short fight. In the anime, it's a much longer fight and there's much more dialogue to go off of. So for this one time, I'm going to be using cues from both the anime and the manga. So like I was saying, he was compared to Cell by Goku, and we don't know if it was Super Perfect Cell or Regular Perfect Cell. That's something that's never been concrete. Um, we can say that Goku was feeling per Super Perfect Cell's energy, but at the same so time, Goku actually fought Perfect Cell and knows the extent to his power. Um, it's not exactly clear how strong Super Perfect Cell was, because that whole time Super Perfect Cell was still holding back a lot of his strength, so it's very hard to say. One thing I need to mention is that uh, during the fight with the bar in the anime at least, the fight was a lot more, I suppose you could say, one side. Deborah was really toying with Gohan, as stated by Vegeta in the anime. And, you know, Gohan was pretty much giving his all. And Deborah was toying with him, as stated by Vegeta. Uh, earlier on uh, in the series, Gohan had went Super Saiyan 2 in the World Martial Arts Tournament. And Vegeta saw that and was not impressed at all by him. Uh, going forward in the series, Gohan's performance against v uh, Deborah... Vegeta just wasn't impressed there either, and that is very interesting that he would make that comparison, uh, leading me to believe that in that instance he would be comparing a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan against Debora. It's very, very difficult to figure this out because we also see that in the manga, since we don't know exactly how strong Debora is, uh, in the manga the fight's a lot more even. We don't exactly know where their power lies for Debora if it's perfect hell or super perfect so that would make this a lot more uh, easier to debate I'm just saying if it was super perfect cell uh, I could maybe see them being somewhat even if Gohan was Super Saiyan 2 if Deborah is still holding back power we don't know if he was holding back a lot of power or not uh, at the same time if Gohan was Super Saiyan 1 fighting Deborah in the manga that would make the fight not make sense because Super Saiyan 1 Gohan was weaker than perfect cell and this Gohan that's in this, the boot saga is even weaker than that Gohan, so that would mean that the performance we see Gohan against Debora in the manga wouldn't make any sense. It would only make sense for that Gohan to be Super Saiyan 2 in my mind. Uh, so to add upon that, later we see that you know Gohan, I, like I said, was giving his all in the anime. Absolute best. We don't know if he was Super Saiyan 1 or 2, obviously, like I've mentioned. That's what this whole video is about. Later, when they're going back to the egg to fight, uh, you know, to destroy the egg for Majin Buu that uh, Majin Buu is in, he sees Deborah there. Gohan sees Deborah there, and Deborah is very confident he can defeat him, but that can obviously be just for Deborah's pep talk to himself. You know, he's so confident of himself. Gohan, or Goku tells Gohan that he needs to let his anger go out, to let his anger go out like he did against Cell, tapped into all that hidden strength. And if he does that, no one can beat him. Gohan had po uh, about to power up, and he says, I'm angry, but not like last time. Then he powers up to whatever form he's in. Uh, we can assume that we don't know. This makes it even harder, because we don't know if he's in Super Saiyan 1 or Super Saiyan 2 even here, because he couldn't get angry enough to do whatever Goku wanted. Um, you might be able to argue that the whole thing about Goku saying to get angry, that could be related to when Super Saiyan 2 Teen Gohan defeated Cell and, you know, he had unleashed that hidden potential within him and during that Kamehameha Clash, that little last ounce of hidden potential he had left, his energy exploded in that instant when Vegeta had distracted Cell. We don't know if that's exactly what they were referring to, and it's very hard to judge and it's all up for uh, assumption and debate really but this is a very very interesting topic but to really wrap it up guys i just don't see why gohan being that he was super saiyan 2 earlier uh and then vegeta like i said had made that comment wasn't impressed and then vegeta again wasn't impressed when gohan was 
in a Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan 2 form. Vegeta wasn't impressed when he was fighting Deborah. Um, I don't understand why Gohan would let himself be beaten or be losing to Deborah if he was in a Super Saiyan 1 form. He would want to be in Super Saiyan 2 at his maximum if he can do that. It wouldn't make any sense why he would be able to forget it or anything. So like I'm saying guys, in the anime, it's I think it's much more clear cut that Gohan would be Super Saiyan uh, 2. But in the manga, it's a little bit more complicated. But to take cues from all of them, I think that, at least in my opinion, I would say that Gohan was more than likely Super Saiyan 2. Um, but like I said, it's not clear cut guys. It's just so many contradicting things that really go upon us and if you really want to go as far as to talk about art style with his hair being extra spiky or there's no electricity that I think is the wrong way to look at it because that has been an inconsistency in the whole series between you know using electricity and all that stuff and the hair that's been a major inconsistency in the whole series so I think that's the wrong way to look at it but like I said I think that in my opinion there's more to support that he was Super Saiyan 2 or it would make more sense at least um, it'd be a lot easier if we knew how strong Deborah was if he was a sh if he was close to perfect cell or super perfect cell. Like I was saying, if he was close to perfect cell, a Super Saiyan Gohan would have been a considerable amount weaker than that Deborah. And if they were talking about Super Saiyan or super perfect cell, a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan would have been a, a decent amount weaker than that Deborah, if that makes sense. So it's all very complex, but I want to hear what you guys think in the comments. This was a very interesting topic and a harder one to plan out actually because it's such a short uh, discussion really. You know, it's, it's a lot harder to get a grasp on what's going on because there's not a lot of information. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, if you want to debate with me, go ahead and debate amongst each other. Uh, if I left out anything, please say so. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you later.